The C-17 Globemaster is a mainstay of modern military transport, capable of moving all kinds of cargo anywhere it's needed. Hello everyone, it's Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb, and the Royal Canadian Air Force turned one of its Globemasters into a flying museum in Binmarch for a mission a century back in time. Courtesy of Shaw Cable, Dale Earhart explains how 10 former RCAF pilots plan to commemorate the aerial contribution to the Battle of Vimy Ridge in the First World War with a tribute flight on April 9th in France. We have 10 ex-military pilots that are joining our team to fly. Some of us are airline pilots that are retired. We are all in the military before. Many of us were snowbirds or fighter pilots or one of the other fellows is a helicopter pilot. And we've got a background in the Air Force and the Royal Canadian Navy in aviation and we want to honor our airmen from the past. And then we're going to ship them back to the eastern coast of Canada and fly them all the way across the country for the 150th anniversary of Confederation as well as celebrating the 100th anniversary of the birth of a nation, literally, for the Battle of Vimy. A huge effort was mounted by volunteers at the Canadian Museum of Flight in Langley, British Columbia to build two replica Sopwith pups for the flight. Here's Ray Fessenden to uh, tell us all about the project. We received a grant from Heritage Canada to buy the kits uh, and uh, all the other miscellaneous bits and pieces that was necessary to complete the project. The number of people involved here is, I'm going to say, pretty close to 20 people. Now, at, at any one time, there's probably close to 8 or 10, 10 here. On the weekends, we have as many as uh, five or six air cadets that are also helping. Well, Transport Canada is very pleased with the quality of work so that we have done. And uh, so they should be because these, in my opinion, are built better than most uh, certified airplanes. The aircraft are in France and being prepared for the April 9th flight, where they'll circle the monument in front of tens of thousands of spectators. This has been Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.